So now that we've heard some of the highs and the lows, uh, back to you, Jason and Lila, what, can, what misconceptions exist about SOF that you would love to dispel? Let's start with you, Jason. I think this idea that, um, you know, the Hollywood idea of a special operations individual, um, you know, this hard knuckle dragging killer that just sits in his, you know, <laughs> darkened house in a dark room, sharpening a knife, just praying that I can go kill someone. Like Rambo. Uh, it is uh, obviously the ability to kill is a component of special operations and a component of the military. It's an unfortunate component, but there are evil people that there is no amount of education that will move them to a point of persuasion. Unfortunately for them, uh, you know, eliminating them is the best course, but a lot of people don't understand that Special operations forces are in, incredibly intelligent. You have individuals, I mean, I'll use Johnny Kim as the shining example. I mean, if any of you don't know who Johnny Kim is, he was a SEAL, that uh, highly decorated combat medic who went to Harvard, got his doc became a doctor, and currently now is an astronaut. So this is the level of, of intelligence that these individuals have. And it's not necessarily always about pulling the trigger in a combat situation. Frequently, it's about not pulling the trigger and figuring out that balance and, and how we can win on the battlefield and in that environment. So it really runs, you know, antithesis to a, a lot of what the American people think and definitely what Hollywood thinks. 